What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London as you find me in an enclosed tunnel in Monaco. I picked my car up from Dub Customs about five days ago and I'd allocated one day to film an unveiling review video about my new exhaust system that I've got on my C63. However, it rained and in the best of times, this car gets zero traction. So the first thing that I needed to do when I got down to Monaco, bearing in mind how many tunnels there are here, is bring you the unveiling of my Brook race exhaust in canal system that is on this C63. It is ear piercing. We have got miles of tunnels and incredible mountain roads. This is the ultimate playground to show you guys just how mean this thing sounds, but also how much fun it is to drive. So um, I'll start this beast up. trick of the C63 coupe is that we've got a sunroof <laughs> I think it would be very rude of me to talk through the beginning of this video so I'm gonna let the chokey by turbo V8 do the talking <laughs> Just breathe. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. This is a custom one of one in canal system from Brook Race Exhaust that has been put on this car and it has set the engine free. that you can hear not only has the exhaust tone been amplified by well over 25 but you now get an incredibly prominent turbo whistle that comes up you can hear it spooling up and you can hear it calming down it's an unbelievable combination about this exhaust system is it's kept the AMG nature, it's kept the rumble and the muscle but amplified it. I've still got the same tones as I had from stock but low end it is like nothing I've ever heard from an aftermarket exhaust system on AMG. <laughs> right low down the revs. I think it's safe to say that this BRE system should live in a tunnel. In terms of 
sheer volume is up there with my Gallardo. That's how loud it is. most difficult thing when it comes to building an exhaust system. Anyone can build a loud exhaust system. Anyone can put straight pipes on a car. Anyone can get standard stainless steel material and make the car sound loud. But to extract a tone out of the car, or to even keep the same tone from a stock system, but keep it and amplify it, is very difficult. But then, to be able to have the knowledge, the R&D, and the technology to then have a silent car that is still fitted to the stock Valvetronic system so I can drive in comfort mode as I am now, talk to you guys without really raising my voice. There is no intrusive exhaust tone whatsoever. That I honestly don't know how Brook Race exhaust Done what they've done. I did the 12 hour drive yesterday and it was an absolute doddle. I was listening to podcasts, I was listening to music, and not necessarily that loud, but not at one point did I ever think, oh, I can hear the exhaust system, which is an amazing thing to be able to experience on a car that is your daily driver. That drive, London to Monaco, the 14 hour drive, I've only ever done with two cars the Lamborghini Gallardo with the Armatrix exhaust system, and now this and they could not be further apart. They are further apart than night and day. A few of my friends have asked, how does this compare to all of the other cars that I've owned? And the only car that I can compare it to on sheer volume and noise, especially in those tunnels, where I'm not joking, my ears are still ringing, is the Gallardo. The Huracan was nowhere near in terms of volume and in terms of the way that the sound carried. The AMG GTS had a really nice tone to it and the cracks were really nice, but it was still quite a quiet car. The Gallardo, with the V10, just shouted and barked everywhere. So to think that Brook Race Exhaust have built an exhaust system that sits up there with a decatted manifold headers have cha changed as well on the Gallardo. The entire thing was stripped out. They've got close to that, but still, cruising around, you can hear the exhaust system, but then the Mercedes sound dampening comes into play, and it deflects a lot of noise. I can imagine for the car behind it, it's quite loud. But, for me, the driver, it's totally chill. This is the perfect exhaust system for my girlfriend because we can go for dinner and we can cruise together, have a conversation and just chill and not feel deaf. But when we want to leave, then we can just put our foot down. The whips and the cracks are one of her favorite sounds to come out of an exhaust system on any car. Her favorite sounding car of mine was the AMG GTS. So this, the more time I get to spend with her in this, Hopefully she'll start thinking this is better. That is the first time in any exhaust video, in fact any car that I've jumped in the passenger seat or driven and gone through tunnels where I've come out and the silence is <laughs> just really nice on my ears. I really gave these ears a battering. 
that's something special now. I really hope that I have done a good job in bringing the sound into the video because I know that video never does it justice, but hopefully it can give credit to just how loud that thing is. I don't really know what else there is to say, but I've just had an epic blast through the Monaco tunnels, revealing my Brook Race exhaust system on my C63. And that is it. The only way to go from here is V12, baby. That is it, that is my first video from Monaco. I'm now gonna go back into town and find Sam, who I believe is filming a povlog. So I'm gonna try and terrorize his video. And then over the next couple of days, we're gonna be doing some really cool stuff together, like heading into the mountains in some pretty awesome supercars. So there is a lot of content to come from Monaco, both with myself and Sam. So thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment box below whether you think that that is loud enough. <laughs> because I think it is borderline too loud. But then with the valve shut, it's like a normal C63. The best of both worlds. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.